Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video we're going to look at the Midnight Mule FPL League. Who top scored? Who's currently top? We're going to look at the Content Creators League on FPL Game Week. See who's top of that. See where I'm featuring in that. If I did feature in that. Then we'll look at how my team did in uh, Game Week 25 and my rather loose plans for Game Week 26. So Midnight Mule FPL League. I think hopefully there's a link down below in the description. Top scorer Game Week 25 was Joe Parkhouse with Milner over Messi with a massive 120 points. This is their team. They captained Saka, who then got 15 points times 2 is 30. 26 for Martinelli, 24 for Van Dyke, 12 for Saliba, 10 for Haaland, 12 for Allison, And then on the bench, Ward for 2 and the other players weren't playing. So you might think that's fair enough. A lot of us had a blank bench. But unfortunately... This was a free hit team. So De Bruyne and Mitrovic could have played, but those three on the bench, me, Matoma and Tony, they weren't even playing. So even if players got two points on the bench, this could have been 124 points. So that was a bit unfortunate, but massively bigger score than what I got. So uh, it's not for me to say what should have happened. That's just a shame that the free hit did that. Top of the league is Jacob Eriksson with Skog's Kalanton IF. Got a massive 119. That's just one less than the top of the week. Uh, so he made three subs. Brought in three Liverpool boys. Van Dyke, Alexander-Arnold and Gakpo. For 24, 13 and 8. Because the captain was Gakpo. It's worth a gamble. Uh, and then 13 for White. 11 for Odegaard. 10 for Haaland. 6 for Ake and 6 for Kane. So a very good score. And like most of us on the bench, nothing. As for me, I'm in 61st position. I got 102 points. This is my team. I also took an 8-point hit to get three Liverpool boys, which was Salah for 22 because he was the captain, Trent for 13, Gakpo for 4. On top of that, I kept Martinelli for 26, Gabriel got 15, Haaland 10. There are a lot of content creators that were saying it's worth getting rid of Martinelli for Saka or Odegaard in the last couple of weeks, even worth a hit. I kept hold of Martinelli because I just didn't want to take a hit to losing because I thought he's okay. And I didn't know that Odegaard or Saka would outperform him. As it happens, it probably was worth keeping hold of Martinelli. So I'd say that was lucky. <laughs> and on my bench, I had nothing. So 102 points. The game week rank was just inside the million. Overall, 1,523 points. Uh, four green arrows in the last six weeks, just inside the 1 million now. So I'm six points inside the 1 million and I'm 31 points from the 500k. Obviously, I hope to end the season higher than 500k, but we'll see what happens. 533 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who likes watching this sort of thing. I do appreciate it. So the FPL Game Week have a content creators league. And if there's someone you watch online and they've got at least 10,000 subscribers, the chances are they're going to be in my league, this league. Top of the league for content creators is Harry Daniels, FPL Harry. He's on 1,685 points. Third is Ben Krellin. I mention Ben Krellin sometimes in the videos. He's very good at providing us all with what could be happening regarding doubles and blank game weeks, etc. And then I'm down in 51st if I was in this league. If you go to the website, FPL Game Week, go to Content Creators League, you'll see where you would appear in it. So there I am, 51st, which is now above FPL Focal. So he's someone that I like to listen to, see what he's got to say. I'm only four points ahead, but it all counts. So that's nice. So the transfers I made last week, if you've watched my videos before, you know I'm fine to take hits and I look over a four-week period to get the points back. But in a game like last week, it really doesn't matter. I took out three Blankers, brought in three Liverpool players, and they got 28 points, which is a net gain of 20. Of course, Salah was captain, so it was really 31 points I got from that. So I'm not going to track this over future weeks because there's really no point. It was an obvious thing to do. I mentioned Ben Crennan earlier. So there's his Twitter username. If you want to follow him, he's worth following. So he's made this spreadsheet. He obviously likes Excel. And it shows the next few game weeks. So game week 26, which is what we're about to enter. That's a normal game week. There's four teams doubling in 27. 
There's six teams not playing in 28, lots of doublers in 29. And then it's pretty much plain sailing. 32 is going to have probably some blanks in it. And then 34 is going to probably have some doubles in it. So my original plan when I put a video out last week was to free hit 28 and then wildcard 33 and bench boost 34. But that makes no sense now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wildcard 27, free hit 28 and bench boots 29. There's a gap of two weeks between 28 and 29 because of an international break. So players could get injured. But if that's the case, I would just take hits and take them out. So that means this is the last week with my current setup of teams. So it'd be good to not take a hit this week if I can avoid it. So my captain this week, I'm going to almost certainly give it to Harland. He's my captain. He's at home to Newcastle. He might do well. I don't have Saka. If I had Saka, I'd be tempted, but I don't, so I'm not. And the vice captain at the moment is on Salah. So my team as it looks, and there's a lot of players playing at home, which is very nice. For Arsenal, we have Gabriel, Martinelli and Enketia. Enketia is flagged as a doubt. I may have to deal with him. Yo Felix at home to Leeds. It'd be nice to get some Chelsea players. But I've only got one week to pay off. And then Man City are at home to Newcastle. So I've got Edison and Haaland for Man City. And then Mitoma for Brighton. They're at home to West Ham. And then home to Man United for Liverpool. I've got Trent and Salah. And then Rashford's away to Liverpool. And I've got Trippier away to Man City. And on my bench, I currently have Gakpo, Perisic and Bueno. Now my plan originally was to take hits this week and next week, actually quite a lot of hits, and get everything ready for the big double in 29. But now that I'm going to wildcard next week, I don't need to take any hits. So if that was my team, I'd be fine with that. And if it turns out Enketia doesn't play, that's okay. I'd have Gakpo coming in. So I probably will make at least one sub. I may take two, but two seems a bit of a gamble because the two players I bring in have to get at least four points more and the players I take out. So um, a bit undecided, so I know it's a bit unclear what I'm doing. But I will be posting on Twitter before the deadline what choices I have made. It just depends on injuries. If I think Enketia might be out, then I'll probably switch him out. But I don't know, so that's nice and vague. So there we have it. My plans for game week 26. I'm expecting a small red or a small green. Maybe I get around 50 points, give or take a few. But game week 27, 28, 29, those three, I would hope to get decent green arrows because I'm playing my chips. And whenever you play a chip, I think you should get a green arrow. Thank you very much for watching and all the best for game week 26. Bye.